I'm Froggy, and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. Are you a reader? Are your dolls readers? Now you can build your doll's library with a variety of different books. Because this week we have put together some of our favorite doll books. From Harry Potter to a yearbook, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. From the Disney Channel animated series, Gravity Falls, we are going to make Journal 3 using cardstock, scrapbook paper, computer paper, a cup of tea, paint, jump rings, binder clips, and glue. Make a cup of black tea and allow the water to cool and steep until concentrated. Brush the tea onto a piece of computer paper, then allow it to dry to make the paper look aged. Cut the paper into even strips Fold them in half, stack them together, and I like to use binder clips to hold the pages in place. Apply glue to the folded edge, then gently smooth it out, making sure it gets between the folded edges. Then apply a few more binder clips to make them lay flat. Cut a piece of cardstock to fit around the paper. Make creases for the spine, make small tears at key spots, glue scraps of paper behind it, followed by another layer of cardstock, carefully cut to fit the sides and spine of the book. Once glued inside, cut metallic gold paper, glue it to the corners, add strips of gold paper to the spine, cut the shape of a hand out of gold paper, and here's a tip on how we cut out the shape of the hand. First cut a rectangle, round one end, make a small cut for the top of the thumb, then turn and make small cuts from the top like triangles. Then trim them to the desired height to make the hand with one too many fingers. Cover the outside of the book with a clear glue like Mod Podge. Place the cutout into the glue. Place a few strands of thread through a jump ring. Braid the thread. Add a drop of glue to the center of the ring on a non-stick surface. Glue it inside the book along with another braid of string. Glue the pages to the spine. Use binder clips to hold it in place. Glue the first and last page. Use craft paint to paint a number on top, and you're done. Happy crafting! I just bedazzled my face. We want to give a shout out to Jim Jewel. What's up? Sophie, would you stop playing and help? But Chloe, I'm having too much fun! <laughs> Sophie, are you okay? Yeah, but what's this? A book? Or is it? Um, it's still a book. Using a scrap piece of cardboard, I'm just going to cut a rectangle out of a nice big empty space. To make the cover, first fold over a piece 
like so and make a crease. Then move it over just a little bit, make another crease, and try to match up your sides. Trim off any excess. Using the cover of the book as a guide, I'm going to mark off the width of the sheet of paper I need and I'm going to cut a long strip. Now fold the paper accordion style to fit inside the cover of the book. Apply a generous amount of hot glue on the inside spine of the book. Then put your paper in the glue and close it down. Use your fingers to pinch the sides to define the spine of the book. Use a glue stick to glue down the first and last page and you're done. Happy wrapping! Here is a quick craft. I am going to make a yearbook for a doll using recycled paperboard, printables from our blog, and glue. On our blog, we have two yearbook sizes available, one for a 10 to 12 inch and another for an 18 inch. However, if you need it smaller, just reduce the size in your printer settings. Once printed, we have a cover, a template, and several pages. Cut them out, leaving the pages intact. Lay all the pages in order. Starting with the first set of pages, fold the blank page over, flip it over, then fold back, and repeat until completely folded. Open it up, turn it over, and apply glue on the pages behind the creases. Then carefully refold so the pages have a front and back. On the last page, I glue the next set of pages. Then continue folding and gluing just as before. And there should always be one page left over so the next set of pages can be glued to the back. And even after all the pages have been added, there should still be one single white sheet of paper left on both ends. Then I set it aside and place something heavy on top. To make the cover of the book, take the template and glue it to a piece of paperboard. While it's drying, I begin folding along the lines of the cover. Cut out the template, then carefully cut out the center lines, making three pieces. Glue them into the cover, making sure to avoid the center folds. Cut the corners at an angle, then fold over and glue down the edges, making a hardback book cover. We take the pages for the book, and on the outside of these last two pages, apply glue, being generous along the spine, then glue it into the book. Firmly press and hold it in place until it dries, then close it, and firmly press along the spine. I can even use a nail file to gently press right at the edge to give it a good crease, making a hardback book with pages. And you're done. Happy crafting! by Barbie's new Instagram book that we just had to make our own. Doll size, of course. And we titled it Hashtag The Insta Darbies. We went on Instagram and gathered some of our favorite photos of Sophie and Chloe to make these printables that are available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. We even added a doll size cell phone of our Instagram. After printing the two pages, I will also need some recycled paperboard. If you do not wish to use paperboard, then cardstock and poster board are good substitutes. Cut open the paperboard box so it can lay flat. On page one of the printable, we have the template, the book cover, the cell phone, and the book jacket, as well as the beginning pages across the top. I cut out the template and the book cover I am taking my time cutting to try to make this as neat as possible. 
Using a glue stick, glue the templates onto the paperboard. Carefully cut them out. Cut an extra piece of paperboard to use as a tool. Take the cover of the book and fold on the lines drawn. Using the cut paperboard will help to keep the line straight. Glue the cut paperboard to the cover, then fold over and glue down the tabs. I like to cut the corners of the tabs off, making trapezoids before gluing to make a hardback cover for the book. Now let's make the pages. Carefully cut along each row of miniature pages, giving you one from the first printable and three and a quarter from the second page. Starting with the first row of pages, I use my tool and begin folding the pages accordion style. With the first one going over, then go back and forth until the whole row is folded. Apply glue between the pages so they become double-sided. On the back of the last page, I glue the first page from the next row, continue folding accordion style and gluing on the back side of the pages until that row is complete. Continue adding the strips of paper until complete. Now that all of the pages have been folded and glued together, apply glue to the inside of the cover, place the pages inside, press and hold firmly until dried to make the dolls their very own Instagram book. If you wanted to have a pink cover like Barbie's, we made a printable jacket that you can cut out, place it over the cover, wrapping it around the edge to make a jacket for the book. I absolutely love all of the little details. The jacket really adds that little something extra. And you could cover the jacket with tape if you wanted a glossy finish. This book is so cute, it belongs in a bookstore. So we made a few printables to make a bookstore backdrop. Just cut them out, take a poster board, and mine is 22 inches by 28 inches, fold it in half, cut down the fold to make two 14 by 22 inch poster boards. I fold one of them in half again, open it up, glue scrapbook paper across the top, and I chose to do a line of paper going down the fold. Glue the printables onto the open areas to make a easy bookstore backdrop. Perfect for the dolls to stroll through looking for their favorite book. Ooh, Doctor Who. Take it a step further using the extra poster board, fold it in half and cut it into two pieces. Make two creases in the center, folding it like a book, Cover it with scrapbook paper. I added black paper along the top on the inside, then turned it over, glue printables onto the front on both sides, so when you stand it up, it looks like a freestanding bookcase. Making a three-dimensional bookstore or library that is easy to store. Oh, I love this book so much! It has my face on it! Okay, we gotta take a selfie. Where is my cell phone? To make Sophie's Instagram cell phone, cut out the printable, glue both pieces onto poster board or cardstock, cut them out, repeat, cut them out again, then glue them together to make her cell phone. Yay! A new post for hashtag the InstaDarbies. And you're done. Happy crafting! Let's go! Let's make a quick craft. I am going to make a doll sized book inspired by the new Harry Potter. Using printables from our blog, recycled paperboard, and glue. I start by printing off the free printables from myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. We have playfully named our book Perry Hopper. It comes in two sizes, large and small. 
Then I print the appropriate size pages, cut out the book cover, making sure to leave the tabs. And I actually like to cut them at an angle as opposed to the printed square. Cut out the templates, carefully cut out the pages, keeping them attached. When cutting it out, I try to trim off as much of the black line as possible. And I'll be able to trim some of the black lines in the center later. Take the templates, trace them onto paperboard, cut them out, so you have two large rectangles for the front and back of the book, and one for the spine. Take the book cover and fold on the lines, then turn it over, place the paperboard inside the creases, and I see that I need a little more space between the spine and the sides, so I trim the spine until I get the amount of space that I need. Use a glue stick to glue them in place, fold over and glue down the tabs, then fold over and crease the spine. Begin folding the pages accordion style on the line. When I get to the end, I glue on the next row of pages. Once they've all been connected, use glue on the other side to stick them together to make double-sided pages. Carefully trim off the black line from the edge of the page, glue it into the cover, gluing the first and last pages onto the sides. Then press and hold until it dries. I can also use a large owl clip to hold it in place. For an 18-inch doll, I needed more pages, so I printed more copies of page 3 until it is the desired thickness. Then continue just as before to complete our miniature books. And you're done. Happy crafting! joining us for this my froggy stuff mashup let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below like comment share and subscribe don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye